your microphone is not to be used as a punching bag during the game. Just say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Say, come on. <laughs> These six video dice control the fate of these two players as they pit their wits against each other and their luck against the dice. On Farkle! And here is the host of Farkle, Jason Myers! Of Parker here on the MVP Network, so you can join us here tonight. Now, before we get into the proceedings, I have a little bit of a discrepancy that I have to address because the two players that are playing tonight, they actually played on an episode that we can't air for the fact that there was no audio that went with the video, sadly. So, to make up for that discrepancy, we have invited both of the players back, one being a former champion, one being a current champion. So let's introduce them, starting with the former champion from Westfield, New Jersey, bringing with him a total of $84,941 in cash air prizes. Please welcome back Gianni Peasy. Hey, Jason. Good to be back. Great to have you back. I know you're looking forward to possibly returning your championship on, on this retake, right? That's right. I'm hoping to. Well, you already know what kind of competition you're up against. How are you feeling this time around? I don't know. I mean, it's a whole... Um, not sure how am I going to do, but, you know, it's a whole... It's kind of a new slate, so... going to definitely try to redeem myself tonight. Definitely. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We also wish the best of luck to the current champion, even though he's never been officially declared the champion on episode to be aired, but he has a championship to defend nonetheless. He brings with him $47,641 in cash in prices all the way from Salem, Oregon, and I made sure I wrote it down this time. Travis Coulter. What's up? Not much, Travis. How does it feel to be champion? Um, it feels good, uh, but I know those dice have their way, and if what happens again, or if what happened last time happens again, there's going to be some words with these dice after this show. I'm going to have to throw some hands. I wouldn't be surprised if half the contestants that play this season have words with the dice in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but you're here to defend your championship. You already know how well of a player Gianni is. How are you feeling going against him again? Um, man, la that last time it was, it was a heck of a game. Um, I, I think it's, I I've got to match it up on my hands. That's what I think. Definitely. Well, we wish to both of you good luck. You both know how to play, but for anybody that's tuning in for the first time, I'm going to ask both of these players a question. They're going to see three answers appear on the screen. The first one to buzz in and give me a correct answer is going to get control of these video dice up here on the video wall. And all they have to do is hit that buzzer to stop the dice from rolling, and hopefully they see something that looks like this. Of course, the name of the game for these players is to bank as many of these dice as they want. For example, if they want a bank of five, that'll put $50 into the... Bank! Or they could score off of a one that'll put a hundred dollars into the bank. bank. Or they could score off of a natural triple. The natural triples in the front game being triple twos, triple threes, triple fours, and triple sixes. Unfortunately, there's no money to be put into the bank. Bank. Same <laughs> but they do have prizes attached to them, so pay attention, players, because here are the prizes attached to these mm, triples. For the roll of a triple two, we have a microwave. From KitchenAid, we have a countertop convection stainless steel microwave worth $699. For the roll of a triple three, we have a television. It's a 50 inch QLED 4K smart television worth $1,600. For the roll of a triple four, we have a fishing kayak. From Pelican, it's a rudder controlled fishing kayak with a paddle worth $1,621. And for the roll of the triple six, we have a washer and dryer. From LG, it's their ThinQ line of the washer and dryer. 
Garment Steamer is also included in this set, all together worth $2,627. And of course, whichever of these dice these players decide to knock off, they'll disappear from the screen. For example, if they want to knock out the twos, they'll disappear like so. And then I'll ask them another question, and the next person to give me a right answer will get control of the dice and decide if they want to roll it themselves or pass it to their opponent. Which could prove detrimental because, say, if one of them gets control of the dice and this pops up... There's no way to score for the dice we call that a farkle, which unfortunately will put one strike on their side of the screen. Three strikes, they're out of the game, and their opponent wins. Good luck to the both of you as we put $1,000 into the... Bang! Bang! I love audience participation. It just makes me feel all warm and tingly on the inside. Anyways, good luck to both of you players as we load up the first three answers. They look like this. Kneecap, clavicle, sternum. What bone in the human body are babies born without? <laughs> Travis? Kneecap. Is right. Travis, you have control of an empty board. It is possible to fart <laughs> on an empty board. I know that all too well. <laughs> With that in mind, do you want to roll it or do you want to pass it? I want to roll. He's going to roll. All right, good luck. Come on. Let's not start off that way. Good numbers and go. A couple of good numbers. Um, I'll, take a hun I'll take the sixth window, the $100, and I'll re-roll everything else. Reroll, he says. Reroll, you shall. Come on, let's get some prizes and stop. So prizes, but we have more of my options. Hmm. Same thing as before. Um, let's take them both, and then we'll go for a new question. A new question you want. A new question you get. 1250, as we look at these answers. Ant, deck, ask. What comedian's real name is Anthony Stephen Curry? Travis? Ant. What comedian's real name is Anthony Stephen Kalianatis? Ant is right. <laughs> Travis, you have three dice in your possession. Roll it or pass it. <laughs> Here we go. It begins. I'm going to pass. He's going to pass. Okay. All right. Johnny, three dice. Good luck. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I got something. Oh, got oh okay. 100. I'll take it. Two dice remaining. What was a new question? New question. New question. All right. Don't blame you. New question with 1350 in a pot. These answers pop up. I'm not going to sit there and try to read off these answers, but I will ask you this question. <laughs> what is the International Air Transport Association Airport Identification Code for the Toronto Pearson International Airport? <laughs> Johnny? The second one, I don't know. The second one, no, it's the first one. Oh. Dot dash. <laughs> what? For anyone that's a Rush fan, that's YYZ. Oh! Travis. Uh, I like that. Two dice in your possession. Roll it or pass it. Let's pass. Let's pass. All right, Gianni, redemption time. <laughs> All right. You got it. Uh. <laughs> I'll take it and do a new question. New question. All right. 1450 now in the pot. These answers pop up. Jackknife, swan dive, cannonball. The breeder scored a top 10 hit in 1991. Gianni. Cannonball? With what song? Cannonball's right. One die, Gianni. Roll it or pass it. I'm going to pass it. He's going to pass. Yep. All right. 
Turnabout's fair play, Travis. One or five is the only thing that saves it. And stop. He got it. Oh, no. Except for Johnny, who's kicking himself from that goal. <laughs> it's still early in the game. This is only this is only question number five, and it has these answers: useless, worthless, pointless. <laughs> Travis. Oh my God. Pointless. What UK game show involves teams of two trying to score as low as possible? Pointless is right. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, uh, <coughs> a familiar situation for you. You have an empty board. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Roll it or pass it? I'm going to roll. He's going to roll. All right. <laughs> this is a roll the tag at this point. <laughs> okay. Oh, so close. Um, I will take the first one, and we will roll five dice. Okay. Prizes, 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 and stop! No prizes, you do get saved. And we'll take a new question. New question, right? 1750 in a pot. Now we go to question <coughs> six, and it has these answers. Joe Dirt, Joe Exotic, Joe Doe. Joseph Alvin Maldonado Passage is better known by two monikers. Travis. Joe Exotic? One of them is Tiger King. What's the other one? Joe Exotic is right. Four dice, Travis. Roll it or pass it. I guess I'll give Gianni a chance to level the playing field. I'll pass it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Taking both. A new question. New question. All right. Eighteen fifty now. Next question has new. Bleh, these answers. Words. Shaking my head, smacking my head, slapping my head. Gianni. Shaking my head. What does the acronym SMH stand for? Shaking my head's right. Mm -hmm. As I'm over here <laughs> shaking my head, Gianni, you had two dice. You want to roll it or pass it? Even though he's got a reroll, I'm passing it to Travis. Okay. Travis, you have two dice. There's good odds, right? They say. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a new question. Okay. New question he wants, new question he gets, and I will let you know, players, that the next set of questions will have the same answers that will pop up on the screen. The answers this time be Chicago, Detroit, and Milwaukee. Which one of these is the name of one of Kim Kardashian's kids? Travis. Detroit? Chicago. Aye. Gianni. If you don't Pass punch it to Travis. Your, if you're done punching your microphone, you have one die and he's passed it to <laughs> Travis. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, come on. Same thing as five. Oh. Now you have an option. You could take the Farkle, which will put a strike on your side of the board, and it'll keep the reroll there. Or you could burn up the reroll to reroll that die. Use a power chip! Okay. Uh, Basically, I the reroll will... would be a power chip at this point. Yeah, no, it's not do that. Um, <laughs> I will take the Farkle. We'll take the Farkle. <laughs> Farkle taking one strike on your board on a Farkle. We do clear the board. A little bit of strategy involved. Let's see how it plays out as I put the same answers back up on the board. <laughs> when General Motors tried to dispute Cadillac... <laughs> Travis? Why not? Detroit. 
When General Motors tried to dispute Cadillac Fairview's name, they were told Cadillac was public domain since it's the surname of the founder of what guessable city? Detroit is right. <laughs> Good God, Travis. <laughs> Gee, Travis, familiar territory. What are you going to do? Oh, it's an action card. I'm going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's do it again. And stop. Okay. okay. <laughs> and well, we have to take that, so we will re-roll those five times. Let's take it. Okay. There you go. Two dice for me. Chris. I would like another question. Okay, he wants another question. I don't blame him. New question. Same answers. Oh, God. A type of regional pizza that is rectangular in shape. <laughs> Travis. Chicago. A type of regional pizza that is rectangular in shape and made with Wisconsin brick cheese is associated with what Midwestern city? Uh, yeah, I buy this a lot at Costco. Dang. It's Detroit. Johnny, two dice. Roll it or pass it. I will pass it to Travis. Travis, back to you. I will double pass it back. Yeah, <laughs> you. I take physical challenge. <laughs> uh, oh, they only had one physical challenge. Hit the buzzer and you got some money to go. <laughs> uh, new question. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give these players a little bit of a breather. We'll be back with more Farkle right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back to Farco with the match between Gianni and Travis. There's two thousand dollars in the pot. We resume with these answers: Rook and Bishop, Rook and Knight, Bishop and Knight. In chess, the queen has the combined movement of which two pieces? Gianni. The Rook and the Bishop. Queen can go straight across, or it can go diagonally, like a rook and a bishop. Johnny, you have one die. Roll it or pass it. Passing to Travis. There's a lot of passing going on. Travis, you know the situation. Come on, see a green die, a green die. Stop. He got it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Johnny, why? <laughs> <laughs> Two re-rolls now on Travis's side of the board. We play the dice off. And we put these answers up for question number 12. Dragonfly, ladybug, butterfly. In Europe, it is said that which one of these animals symbolizes good luck? Gianni. A uh, butterfly. Ladybug. Hey, Travis! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Travis Colton Show here, folks. Good <laughs> <laughs> a pattern. Uh, right? Travis gets first roll on an empty board. This is like, what, the fourth time now? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's on this episode. Right. What do you want to um, do? <laughs> I'm going to roll. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no. Ooh, oh, man. my God. Now, you could take the particle <laughs> again, which will put a second strike on your side, or you could burn up one of your two re-rolls and re-roll all six of those dice again. Um... I'm gonna burn a reroll. All right, that leaves one reroll left. Good luck. 
I swear if it talks to the cat. <laughs> well, you can get it now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> They're getting mad at me now. <laughs> I'll take one you of the think? five. I'll take the first. Yeah, I'll take, take the first one, and then I'm gonna roll again. Okay. Stop. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Situation I again. Hate, you uh, can burn up another well, re-roll, or take the farkle. I hate. I really hate saying it. I'm gonna burn a re-roll. Alright, that's your last re-roll. Good luck. We got this, we got this, and go. Well, Thank you. The game. I, we'll take them both. And I'm just gonna move on to a new question. Okay. I need to collect my thoughts. Yeah, you've had enough torture with the dice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Question number 13, players. As these answers. Water dragon, fire dragon, earth dragon. Which one of these does not exist in the realm of Pokemon? Travis. Earth dragon. You better get that one right. <laughs> as much as I hear you playing Pokemon, you better get that one or else you're going to have to turn in your card. Anyway, <laughs> Travis, you have three dice. Roll it or pass it. It's it's that stage again. I'm gonna pass. Okay, Gianni, it's your turn to roll the dice for once. <laughs> All right. Oh. And that's a far. Unfortunately, that's one strike on your side of the board. But on a far we do clear the board. Twenty-two hundred dollars in a pot. Question number fourteen has these answers: beef, chicken, and pork. People that suffer from electrophobia have a fear of what? Johnny? Chicken? Is right. Oh, it was that easy. Johnny, <laughs> you're faced with the empty board situation for once. <laughs> play it. He's gonna play it. <laughs> Don't do it. You. <laughs> Okay. Take all three. All three, okay. Three dice remaining, Johnny. Roll them or new question. New question. New question, okay. Question number 15 has these answers Florentina, Tipitina, Stamatina. Travis. Florentina. The Tina and actress Tina Fey's name is short for what? Stamina. Damn. <laughs> uh, Johnny, three dice. Roll it or pass it. Pass. Oh, wait. He's going right. to pass. All right, Travis, three dice. Good luck. That's Florentina, not Florentina. Oopsie. <laughs> God. God. Hey, look oh. at this. Wow. Wow. And you thought you were yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's not even two re-rolls. It's a roll with your touch. Yeah, well, I still have two re <laughs> I've seen this episode before. Have you? <laughs> well, yeah. players, we're on to question 16. And by the way, if we do happen to get through all 21 questions and there's no clear-cut winner, we will go into a sudden death situation. But in the meantime, question 16 has these answers. Bono, The Edge, Adam Clayton. Paul David Hewson is better known by what name in the band you see? Gianni. Bono. Is right. Gianni. Second time you're with the empty boy situation. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm playing. Okay. Oh. Well then. <laughs> oh. How do you want to deal with this, Johnny? Let's take it all. The three sixes and the one hundred. All right. Let's put the money into the bank. bank. 
eight. And then take the sixes off the board to give him prize number six. <laughs> Two dice remaining, Johnny. Roll him a new question. New question. New question. Look okay. at question number seventeen. Has these answers. Snap, crackle, pop. Which dance act had hits with You've Got the Power and Rhythm as a Dancer? Johnny. Pop. No nope. snap. Mm. Travis, you have two dice. Roll it or pass it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to pass. The pass, Johnny. Here we go. One or five pops up, you're good. You could get them both. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> it's I'm not surprised at this point. Both players have one strike. Both players have one reroll. Both players have one prize on their side. As we look at question 18, with these answers: Asuncion, Concepcion, Ignacion. What is the capital of power? <laughs> Travis. Asuncion. Asuncion is right. Hey, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay. You have an empty board again. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? I guess I'll roll. You get it. <laughs> well then. Oh. How do you want to be with this? All of it. All of it. So we take that off the board. Put fifty dollars into the. Bank. Bank. We take <laughs> all the fours off to give him prize number. four. Four. There you go. <laughs> Two dice remaining, Travis. Do a dare ask. Um. Yeah. You. Well, I don't want them, so I think it's a new question. Okay. Um, new question. Can All I right. pass them? <laughs> no, not yet. All right. Twenty-nine fifty. As we go into question nineteen, and these answers pop up: the King of Spades, the King of Hearts, the King of Clubs. Travis. I believe it's the King of Hearts. Well, before you believe that, I was going to say, don't you dare go trying to look through a deck of cards for this answer, but what is the only king in a deck of cards without a mustache? It is the King of Hearts. Hey, <laughs> yes. Travis, uh, two dice in your possession. Do you want to roll them or do you want to pass them? Pass, please. Gianni, two dice, here we go. One of five pops up, you good. Come on. Oh! Okay, situation time. You could take the Farkle and put a second strike on your board, which will clear out the dice, or you could burn up the reroll and reroll those two dice. What do you want to do? Reroll. He's going to burn up the reroll, all right? Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. New question. New question, okay. But you're gonna try to press your luck there on one day. I don't blame you for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that wrong right. show. Okay. Question number 20. With $3,050 in a pot, has these answers. UFOs, HBOs, ELOs. <laughs> Travis. UFOs. In 1952, the United States Air Force created Project Blue Book to the study UFOs. Travis, you have one die in your possession. Roll it or pass it. Pass, please. Pass, please. Gianni, one or five pops up your good shape. Oh. That's not... <clears throat> That's only a second strike. But again, on a Farkle, we do clear the board. Now, this is question number 21. The last person that gave me a correct answer was Travis. So keep that in mind 
as I put these answers up on the board. Hermosa, Formosa, Hemosa. The island state of Taiwan is from Travis. Hemosa. The island state of Taiwan is formerly known by what name? Formosa. So that was my next guess. <laughs> So, Gianni, normally you would have control of the dice, but as I said, Travis was the last one to actually give me a correct answer. So, Travis, you had the deciding factor here. You could roll all six of these dice until either you clear them all out or you farkle. Or you could pass them over to Gianni and make him roll all those dice until either he farkles or clears them out. What do you want to do? Uh, kind of, but I, I'm going to pass. You're going to pass. All right, Gianni, the object of the game right now is to try to clear out all six of these dice. Now, there is some strategy involved here. You don't have to take multiple dice at once. You can knock them out one at a time to try to better your chances. With that in mind, all right. I say good luck. Here we go. First roll. On the left. Take the other one too, or we roll them all. Roll them all. Roll them all, alright. Okay, you save again. Okay, you save again. Well, well done! Whoa, that's it. So, uh, we take that, we put that in there, we take these off, we give you prize number two, and just like that, you win the game! <laughs> and does he get a reroll? Yes, he does. I forgot. Got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you're the new champion. You're going to the bonus in just a second. Uh, Travis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good game, Johnny. Yeah. Well, well, Good game, game, Travis. Good game, indeed. It's been a hectic game from start to finish. You ended up facing empty boards many times throughout the game. I, th I think I lost track. It was like five times, six times, somewhere around there. But Something like that, yeah. But you're not leaving out here empty-handed. You came in here with forty-seven thousand six hundred forty-one dollars in cash and prizes. You have a four and a three in front of you. You were going to add seven hundred dollars to that, so you leave out of here as the former champ with forty-eight thousand three hundred forty-one dollars in cash and prizes. Did you enjoy your time, Travis? Yes, I did. Thank you for having me. It, it was a blast. Sure it was. Give it up for Travis, everybody. When we come back, Gianni is going to try to tackle the bonus dice and see how much he can take this for. We'll find that out right after this. Barely, somehow, through all that chaos, you're the new champion again. <laughs> you survived the chaos in the front game. You got $3,300 along with prize number two and prize number six. And a reroll token on top of that. I think you're pretty much set for this bonus round, don't you think? I think so, so. You think so, you hope so, you know so. You already know what's at stake. You already know. I about, do. You already know about these dice up here. We took the six out. We replaced it with a wild card. Y'all also know the object of the game is to roll triples. For every triple that you roll, we knock out that <coughs> number accordingly. For every number that you knock out, you stand to win a prize. Pay attention, because here are the prizes for this bonus round. 
for the role of a triple one is an espresso package. From Anza, it's an artisanal espresso machine that comes with two mugs for $1,440. For the role of a triple two, we have a pair of electric bikes. From Abbotton, it's a pair of step three commuter electric bicycles worth $3,599. For the role of a triple three, it's a trip to Washington, D.C. You and the guests will fly around trip coach from right. Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. for a five-night stay in a superior room at the Omni Shoreham Hotel. Daily breakfast, a $400 amenities credit, and an American history tour for two are included in this trip, worth $9,257. For the role of a triple four, it's a new hot tub. It's the Beachcomber 320 Leaf Hot Tub with Alabaster Facing, 45 Jets, and LED Mood Lighting worth $10,931. The roll of a triple five, Johnny, will get you a new car! <laughs> it's the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EV 1LT. Able to travel a 259 mile range with a single motor electric drive, this car features a 65 kilowatt battery and interior protection package for $26,845. Total value of the board, $52,072. Johnny, you know what's at stake as far as the prizes are concerned. You know how to get there. Just roll the triples, you'll knock them out one at a time. There's also that combination that you saw at the top of the round, the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the wild card. If that particular combination pops up in any form, not only will you win all five of those prizes up at the top, you'll also win a cash prize that I forgot to mention. Because normally the cash prize starts at $5,000, but it's been a long minute since it's been won. So guess what it's at now? The door. Thirty thousand wow. dollars. You are playing for eighty-two thousand seventy-two dollars of cash and prizes. You have a re-roll at your disposal, Gianni. Good luck. Get the rolling. Okay. So you have an option. You could knock out either the espresso machine or the trip to Washington D.C. Take the DC trip. DC trip is not that. Nothing at stake. Keep rolling. Okay, Ooh. well, now you have a problem. Because you've already knocked out the trip to DC. That real oh. token is gone. So now, situation time for you. The trip to DC is at stake. You could keep rolling and try to knock out some of these other prizes, or you could stop right now, take the trip to DC, and forget about it. I will roll again. He's gonna roll again, all right? If, if that trip to DC pops up again, and nothing else, it's game over. Good luck. <laughs> game over! Oh. Oh. Don't hang your head too much on this, because you reclaimed your championship. You got, you got $3,300 in the front game. You managed to get prize number two, which was the microwave. We finally gave away the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and you also got the washer and dryer on top of that. So 66.26 on the day. Altogether, $91,567. How does it feel, Johnny? Oh, this feels good. You could put me back a champion, so. Yeah, let's just hope you could continue to run a little bit longer this time around. I'm hoping so. Yeah, we hope so, too. We you know you'll be back next week to defend your championship. We hope to see you back here next week to see how well he defends his championship. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the whole world about this show, this channel, and MVG Productions. Please, until then, this is Jason Maya saying, see you next time on Farkle. Goodbye.